car. As you can see, I took the cover off uh, earlier today. It was pretty easy. I actually found a guy on YouTube that had done the same thing. Um, so the issue is that you have a blower motor right here. And you have one over here that goes here. And this one wasn't working. You know, I tried giving it a little bang on the side. Um, you know, that's my first uh, step in diagnosing things with electric motors. You just, just whack the snot out of that, that motor. And if you can't get it to catch, it's probably not the motor. Um, so what I did here is over here, there's a, on the side here, there's a blower motor resistor. I took this blower motor out. I brought it over here. I plugged the connector on this side into that blower motor resistor and that blower motor works. So I know that this was at least getting power. I was just too lazy to go get a uh, multi multimeter to test for that. So I just zipped that over here. Super easy, it took like two seconds. Um, and then the next thing I did is I just swapped the blower motor resistors um, between the motors. And sure enough, this motor worked. That one did not. And that basically told me that the motor's good, the wiring is good, and the only thing that's left, because I didn't see any corrosion, was a uh, blower motor resistor. But while I'm up here, I also noticed that there was a lot of water. There's like some water down in here, and some over here on this side. Um, and he also, the neighbor, uh, told me that when he would plow his driveway, or shovel it, I guess, with the tractor, he was getting some water dro dripping in through the roof. Uh, and upon further inspection, there's like this seal. It's actually like just like window foam or something. Um, it comes up and it rides all along here, and that's where the cab seals up against. And um, over here, you can see it's ripped. Over here in this corner, ripped. Nothing's on. And various places. Uh, other areas around here was just ripped off so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fix that I got some goo gone and I'm gonna kind of scrape this off uh, as best I could with like a putty knife and then use goo gone to get the fine um, little you know, residue off and then I'm gonna run some new uh, foam all the way around should be a quick fix uh, goo gone and 20 feet of foam uh, which I won't need all of it, but we got 20 feet of foam. Um, it was like 15 bucks at uh, Erickson's Hardware in Hamden. So, anyways, hang tight and uh, we'll get this foam swapped out. Alright guys, I uh, mostly finished cleaning this up. I gotta do another wipe down because I just got a bunch of dust all over it. But 
the most part. The whole top of this, where the seal seal's gonna go, is pretty clean as far as um, old sticky residue and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, go grab some rubbing alcohol now, and give it another once over, and then I'm gonna stick the seal on. Alright guys, so the seal's done and installed. It's sticking pretty well. Right here, uh, where the starts and stops, I just kinda cut it a little extra, probably a sixteenth of an inch. Kinda smushed it in um, and laid it down so it would press up firmly against this other one. Um, seems to be sticking really well. Got it all the way around. Uh, we're gonna be waiting for that blower motor and or blower motor resistor to show up. So I don't wanna button this thing up completely, but I also wanna keep the weather out of it. Um, so I'm gonna put probably, actually not, it doesn't take long. I'm gonna put all these screws back in. Um, there's uh, four in the back, three in the front, and three on each side. Um, like 14 or something like that I don't know. Uh, so I'll get this buttoned on we'll see how she fits and when the part comes in um, I'll kind of take the top back off and get her done All right, guys, so that's a wrap with the uh, John Deere uh, 3320. Um, we're just fixing the, uh, the blower motor. Um, so the issue was actually, so John Deere said that the resistors don't go. Um, they, they never see the resistors fail. It's always the motor. So um, I took the resistor apart, um, and they have it, like, encapsulated into, like, this weird little aluminum body. So... Um, I took that apart and sure enough, it was really corroded on the inside. And I think what happened was um, uh, the corrosion probably blew a fuse because the fuse was blown. Uh, but when we replaced the fuse, um, that fixed the issue where you could turn it on high and it would be on high all the time. Uh, but when you turn it on low or medium, the um, where it had to go through the resistors, um, it didn't work. So uh, the neighbor went down the road to Napa and grabbed a... Uh, Grabbed a blower motor resistor out of like a 1980 Ford some odd. Um, it was really close to the same size, so it actually, uh, with minor trimming, fit in the hole uh, of the blower motor. So it could uh, we could cool the resistors down. If you don't do that, then those resistors will get like red hot. And so, um, so what I did is I trimmed it up a little bit, and I basically took that resistor that was uh, on the John Deere originally. Uh, took it apart so I could see the actual resisting el resistor elements in it and I kind of compared uh, to the the new part uh, so I, I played around with that until I got it just right so sure enough like high medium low all corresponded uh, to the speed of the motor um, and then I put it on use some silicone to seal it on use some self tappers and it doesn't look factory um, compared to the other one on the other side but it's close enough i mean it works good um but it was pretty easy if you guys if you know how to you know do basic basic wiring very simple stuff then you guys will be able to figure that out um but if you have any questions drop them down in the comments below and we'll uh talk to you guys later